Hello little artist, I'm Mariana Olsen and today we are drawing a present falling surprise. Are you ready? Let's do this! Ok, we're gonna need paper, something to color with, I'm using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. We're gonna start folding the paper in half, then we're gonna take the bottom part and fold in half again. Now we're gonna flip it over and fold one more time and then we're gonna open it, you're gonna flip it and we're gonna start drawing right here. Okay, let's start with the paper that is gonna open this way, we're gonna open to the top and we're gonna start drawing out here the present. The first thing you're gonna leave a space here and we're gonna do a little line and we're gonna leave another space here and do another little line. Okay, let's try to leave the same space in each side. We're gonna join these two lines with a line and I wanna turn my paper just to make it easy and we're gonna go slow pressing the marker to go to the other side. Okay, so this is the top part of the present. Next, we're gonna do the bow. I wanna do a shape of a heart and it's just the top part of this heart and it's gonna look like this and like this. Next, we're gonna do the top part of the bow and we're gonna do a line that goes up and then goes down. And we're gonna go before we go touch the corner. So we're going up and stop right here before the corner. Let's do the same thing in the other side. Go up, down, and touching. We're leaving a little space, you see, in each side of this bow. Now, inside, you can put little lines just to make it look even more like a bow. The next thing we're gonna do is leave a little bit of a space. We're going in, and now we're gonna go down. The same on this side, we're gonna go in a little and going down. And now we're gonna join these two lines and we can turn our paper again. And you can even use a ruler if you want to. I'm doing this by my hand and just going slow. Okay, the last step is gonna be the uh, bow that goes down here and we're gonna mark the line from here, crossing the folding part, going down. The same thing, let's do a line and going down. There. There we go, we have our present now in the outside. Now we can open the paper. And the first thing we're gonna do is finish the present. So we're gonna join these lines by extending these ones, crossing the folding part. These ones, you can also extend them. We're gonna turn the paper again, and now let's do a line that goes all the way down, trying to touching these lines. There. Now, if these lines don't, didn't touch, you can just extend them. Let's do the same thing in the bottom part. We're gonna extend these lines and these ones I'm gonna do a little different. I'm just gonna extend these two. And before I do the middle ones, we're gonna join the ones on the outside. And then I turn my paper and now I join these ones. There. Next thing, let's start with the puppy and the first thing I'm going to do is here in the folding part, just on the top of the folding part, I'm going to do a little curve. Underneath this curve, I'm going to do another one and this one is going to be a little longer and it's going up and down and I'm really close to the folding part but no, not quite touching here. You see, one is on the top and the other one is on the bottom of the folding part. Now inside here, we're gonna do a nose. I'm doing another curve. And underneath, I'm gonna do a letter U or a V shape. Inside, I'm gonna do a little circle and we're gonna color with black inside this shape. Okay, that's my nose or the nose of the puppy. The next thing, we're gonna finish the mouth. We're gonna start with a little line going down 
and from this line I'm gonna join these two so we're going down and going up again and join let's do the same thing here join going down and up again and that's gonna be the mouth of the puppy and inside we're gonna do little dots just to make it look a little bit more like the mouth of this puppy now let's do the eyes underneath the folding part on next to this first curve we did here we're gonna do like two circles or two oval shapes and they're right underneath the folding part we're not gonna cross the folding part and we are gonna put up here a little circle that we're gonna leave white so it's gonna be the shine of the eye and we're gonna cover with black around it so we have now the face of the puppy now let's start with two curves of here next to the eye to mark where the face is gonna be and I'm crossing from the top of the folding part to down okay we're gonna cross half and half now let's do the ears and when I start here on the top going down a little I'm not gonna I'm doing a curve another curve now let's do the curve to the other side kind of like to the inside and before we finish these ears we're gonna do the head we're gonna do a space here or leave a space of a finger space over the top of this curve and we're gonna do another line a curve line that's the head and now let's go down doing a curve and connect it here it's like a U shape an upside down letter U and connects with the head the next thing is gonna be the heart that he's holding in his mouth and we're gonna do really easy doing a line going down here and a stop before you get to the present and if you notice it's no touching the center is a little bit more to the left side under underneath his mouth and in this side we're gonna do a V shape and I'm gonna start here and going up it's like a sideways letter V and from this point I'm gonna join with this part of the heart and I'm not gonna touch the present so I'm going down and passing really close you see a really little space in between the present and the heart next thing let's finish his face doing a curve and this is his cheeks and another one right here next we're gonna finish the body and we're gonna do two curves we're gonna do one going down and really close to the present and we're gonna go another one and the other side we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go down around the heart and another one and there that's it we finished this present that it has a puppy inside with a little heart now let's look how this one look when it's closed and this is how it look when it's open i hope you like this lesson and it was easy for you to follow and now my favorite part is coming let's color Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how my present turned out and the colors I choose. I add some hearts here. You can leave it white when you start putting your color or if you have a white permanent marker that you can use at the end when the color is all dry. Now, let's take a look how it look when we open. Here is our puppy that is holding a heart. You can add more hearts on the background or even put a message for who you want to give this present to. You can change the color of the puppy. I leave it white and put some gray, but you can change it to black or to brown. You can use your imagination to color this puppy. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step by step like this one. See you next time!